All right, this is a uh, update video on the Raptor Stainless 45 by Kimber. Uh, I done a review on it a few months ago about I never shot it and it was still brand new. So uh, I put about around 200 rounds through it. And uh, we can kind of tell, you can really tell the difference between this 1911 and a lot of other 1911s. The only thing that even comes close to it is probably a six hour 1911 or old Colts. But I, I pretty much like this and better than I do the other ones because they're Kimber. This is probably the sharpest 1911 made that's not a custom shop. Well, this is custom shop, but I'm talking about like an actual hand built 1911. Um, but as I said, there's really not any other 1911s that even compare to the beauty of this one. So you can kind of tell what I'm trying to talk about. But $1,544 is not a drop in the bucket, but it's. It's worth it to me anyway. I, I'd, I'd say if you if you can spend the money, get one of these instead of a SIG, but don't buy a Kimber unless it's a custom shop. I've had a lot of Kimbers and you can tell a big difference between ones that are custom shop and ones that are not. So we're gonna fire probably about 18 rounds to it here in a few minutes and uh, I'll let you, let you see what you think about it. As I said, I've got the 10 round Chip McCormick mag through it. We can see what I can do with it from about 30 yards and I'll move up to about 20. So, most concealed carry classes are 7 yards. So this right here is pretty, pretty far back for a handgun, but still not that bad. Of course, just like any other 1911, you throw one in it, turn safety off. Out of it, I can find my other mag. As you can tell, kind of not doing too well with these, but this is the first time I've ever used the. Uh, actual federal i think they're called aluminum they're not really that good of a bullet to use just as you can tell the the power in them range is a lot different as i could see on some of the bullets it was like the way the bullets was made was not really right like you know how remington and other ones make them so i'll probably post another one here in a few days i just need to get me some different ammo just gonna try that now but yeah it's still a killer gun though can't beat it but thank you